One to nothing. The Rays lead it. Kent Emanuel joining us. The Astros third round draft choice. University of North Carolina. Left handed pitcher. Just signing getting ready to head out in his pro career. How does it feel. Feels good. It's exciting. Uh, you know getting to do all this stuff. It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Are you aware that you have to do a, a TV interview every day now the rest of your life. <laughs> oh gosh. I hope not. Let's see. <laughs> Desmond Jennings the batter. He opened the game with a double to left center. As you watch the caliber of baseball here, of course, you've been watching Major League Baseball your whole life, probably, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, growing up near Atlanta, a lot of Braves games. So you had uh, some outstanding teams to follow and excellent pitching down through the years. That's a shot toward right field, and Jimmy Paredes in to glove it. That's out number one. Is the defensive play one thing that would stand out for you watching baseball at this level? Compared to the lower levels, uh, yeah, definitely. I think the offense has been, you know, obviously is a step up. Um, yeah, but definitely they make the plays look so easy uh, at this level that, you know, lower levels might not be able to make as easy. What kind of strengths do you you bring now as you embark upon pro ball? Uh, I think, you know, as a pitcher, I don't have one thing in particular that stands out. I think that in itself is a strength. I'm able to throw any pitch in any count. And, uh, you know, just that's what I do. I just like to pitch. What uh, what velocity fastball do you work from? Uh, I usually sit around the 90 mark. I don't. I'm not a flamethrower, but uh, you know, obviously that's something that's improved every year, and I don't plan on uh, you know that stop. And hopefully, it'll keep going up. Big time command guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like to throw strikes and uh, get ahead of the count, and that's usually what you know leads me to being successful. Top ball, first base side by Matt Joyce, one and two. Uh, as you have watched major league pitchers now, as you've developed at North Carolina, is there anybody you think you might be close to in style who's currently in the big leagues? Uh, I don't know. I, it's t that's a tough question. That's one that I've never really uh, never answered. It's not really anyone in particular that I try and you know emulate. I think uh, take pride in being myself. Mm -hmm. That's probably the best way to do it. Two and two. Who's had an impact on you in terms of? Learning your craft. Uh, has there been a pitching coach who has maybe uh, made an impact on you, uh, changed your thinking in some area that you can recall? Uh, yeah, I think I think all the coaches growing up have had you know a little impact here and there. Uh, you know, I've learned different pitches from from different coaches, and uh, you know how to attack hitters from different coaches. Obviously, Coach Forbes North Carolina has helped me with that too. So uh, yeah, I think uh, just everyone just kind of come together like a big melting pot almost. Mm -hmm. What have you been warned about stepping into pro ball uh, to watch for to take care of your arm whatever it may be uh, just in terms of this fall I've, I've been told not to rush it uh, that's when they said uh, you know don't try and get back on the mountain and, and let it rip too fast go ahead and take your time and you know I had a pretty heavy workload uh, this spring so they're not rushing me uh, to get back on the mountain right away. So it was taps one foul well your battery made at North Carolina Brian Holberton. Is already out there uh, at Greenville, mm -hmm. and he was the Astros' ninth round pick. So that's uh, an interesting pairing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, to have him picked by the same organization, and a couple kids on my Cape Cod uh, summer team were picked by Astros too. So, uh, you know, we have some familiar faces in the organization. It's pretty cool. Is this something you've been aspiring to all your life? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, wanting to play as professional uh, growing up is obviously. You know, every ball player's dream, and you know, to be one step closer to the big leagues today is pretty cool. As you watch a Jordan Lyles, does it uh, jog anything in you? Uh, maybe uh, a feeling of I can do that, or boy, I've got some work to to take care of. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, seeing him, especially how young he is. Uh, it's kind of encouraging, you know, letting you know that, you know, this could be done and, uh, you know, hopefully it's something I'm able to do in the future. You talked about the heavy innings load, and the Astros, mm -hmm. of course, are going to be very careful in managing that. So uh, you've been shut down for what, about three weeks now? Yeah, uh, I haven't picked up a baseball since uh, my last game in the, in the College World Series. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, uh, two or three weeks, uh, just, just getting into a throwing uh, program again? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, you know, I leave tomorrow to go to Florida, and I'm gonna start the throwing program there. So, uh, you know, I guess tomorrow I have a better idea of, of what the deal is gonna be. Well, you would just miss Mark Appel. He's just leaving Florida. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll meet him somewhere down the line. Yeah. 
but a very good draft bringing in top uh, college pitching talent and uh, certainly a pleasure to have you in the organization and we wish you all the best in your career. Ken. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. One nothing Ray.